Hi guys, welcome to Audi Media Channel. This is Silo Kumar. Today we are going to be looking at a DaVinci Resolve 18 tips and tricks video. This is the second installment of that video. So this video is about object tracking. This is a major feature. This feature came out in DaVinci Resolve 17 itself, but it was quite a work in progress in 17. Artificial intelligence based, neural engine based effect. So it was not perfect in 17, but in 18, they have made it really kick ass. It works beautifully. This effect will save you tons of time when you implement it. So I'm going to open the Darwin's Resolve interface and I'm going to demonstrate this effect. You will be seeing how simple it is to use this effect in Darwin's Resolve. So over to the interface. So if you look at the footages here, I have three clips here. So I'll just play the clip. See, it's a slow motion shot. I had shot this on the Panasonic GH6. These are the three shots I'm going to be using to show you this effect. If we look at the second shot. I want to have them in color, but I want to change the backgrounds to black and white. So that's what I've done with the effect. So an effect like this, the way to create it is, I will show you in the next example. If you look at this card, this is green in color, but the color is actually not green. If I take off the effect, it's red in color. So this is the original shot to do object tracking in DaVinci Resolve, you will have to go to the color page, go to the object tracking menu that's here. So the way you implement it is, you can put on an overlay around the car. So the overlay is done. To select the car, you will have to just using the pencil tool here, the plus sign, I have to put a line over the car. That's all you need to do. The car is selected. If you look at this car, this car is not green. It was originally, it was red. So if you change the hue, this is the original color, red. I can even make it like something like this, like a greenish blue. Once I change the color to my desired liking, then I can track the movement of the car using the tracker. So once it tracks it fully, if I play the effect, see, to see it more clearly, I'll take off the overlay. By changing the hue here, I can keep changing the effect of the color. See, now it's in a different color now. I can even keyframe this color shift if required. That is the big advantage of object tracking in DaVinci Resolve 18. So guys, hope you found this video useful. Like it, share it with your friends, subscribe to our channel, and also don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notification as and when we publish new videos. If you have any doubts in this video, or if you are looking at viewing a specific tip on DaVinci Resolve 18, you can leave it in the description box below and I will make sure I try to do that as well. So guys, this is Sello Kumar signing out for Audio Media Channel. Thank you.